Over the past few decades, there's been a lot of talk about the transition from an industrial society to an information society or knowledge society. People now see that information and knowledge, not natural resources and industrial factories, are the driving force for the economy and society. Now, clearly, information and knowledge are very important and increasingly important. But I'd like to suggest a different framework for today's society. I like to think of it as the creative society. As the pace of change in the world continues to accelerate, people are confronted with a never-ending stream of unknown and uncertain and unpredictable situations. And they need to learn how to come up with creative approaches for dealing with those situations. Success in today's society, whether for an individual, for a community, for a company, or even for nations as a whole, depends upon the ability to think and act creatively. Now, this transition to a creative society presents new opportunities. We can use the transition to promote a more humane and humanistic set of values for society. The best way of supporting children developing as creative thinkers is to provide them with opportunities to follow their interests, to explore their ideas, to develop their voice. Now, those are values I would have wanted to support in any era, but they're more important today than ever before, where the value of creative thinking is more important than ever before. Now, the transition to a creative society won't be easy. We'll need to make some structural changes to and break down some barriers in the way we think about our educational systems. We'll need to break down the barriers across disciplines, providing more opportunities for integration of math and science and engineering with art and design in the type of projects that kids work on. We need to break down the barriers across ages, allowing children of all ages to learn with and from one another. We'll need to break down the barriers across space, integrating activities with school, with those at home and in community centers. And we'll need to break down the barriers across time, providing opportunities for children to work on interest-based projects that take days or weeks or months or even years, rather than trying to constrain projects into a classroom period or a curriculum unit. Now, when I think about this transition to a creative society, I see myself as a short-term pessimist and a long-term optimist. I'm a short-term pessimist because I know how difficult it is to bring about structural changes in education and how difficult it is to change the way people think about learning and education. Those type of changes don't happen overnight. At the same time, I'm a long-term optimist. I know that as the pace of change continues to accelerate, the need for creative thinking will become more and more apparent and more and more people will start to understand that the best way to support creative thinking is to help spread the spirit of kindergarten to learners of all ages. That is, to help all children from all backgrounds of all ages to be able to work on projects based on their passions in collaboration with peers in a playful spirit. Around the world, we're already seeing some hopeful signs. There are more and more schools and libraries and museums and community centers where children do have the opportunity to design and create and experiment and explore. And more and more parents and educators and policymakers are recognizing the limitations of the current educational system, and they're searching for new strategies to support children in a fast-changing society. Another reason for my optimism is children themselves. As more and more children grow up experiencing the joys and possibilities of creativity through participating in communities like Scratch and the Computer Clubhouse, they'll start to realize that they want to do things differently. They'll become frustrated with the passivity of today's classrooms. Uh, and they'll want to you know, think about things in new ways. They, don't want to, they won't want to accept the old ways of doing things. As today's children grow up, they'll become agents of change. They'll be the ones who will continue to push for change. Let me end with a story uh, about a friend of mine who had a daughter named Lily who was in kindergarten. One day, Lily came home from kindergarten and told her mom a story about a friend of hers in kindergarten named Daisy. Evidently, Daisy had started kindergarten at a very early age and was spending a second year in kindergarten. And this is the way Lily explained it to her mom. She said, 
Daisy did kindergarten last year and she's doing it again this year for two whole years. I want to do kindergarten again too. Now, when I heard that story, I was pleased that, that Lily you know, was really happy in kindergarten and she seemed to recognize that kindergarten was a special time and a special place. But at the same time, I could detect some concern in Lily's story, that somehow she seemed to recognize that she might never again have a time for the same type of creative play and creative experiences. Here in our lifelong kindergarten research group, we share Lily's concern and we're trying to do something about it. That's why we're creating technologies and activities to engage children of all ages in creative learning experiences. And we're creating spaces and communities where kids of all ages can work together on creative projects and develop their creative capacities. The transition to a creative society is a big challenge and we need everybody to work together on it. Whether you're a parent or a teacher or an administrator or a policymaker or a researcher or just someone who cares about kids, let's all find ways of working together provide children of all ages, from all backgrounds, with opportunities to work on projects based on their passions in collaboration with peers in a playful spirit. There's nothing more important than helping today's children grow up as creative thinkers so they can be full and active contributors to tomorrow's creative society. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm.